Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you guys how to create an agent. Um, so basically, in order to, for you to create an agent, first of all, you're going to need to have a user group to the agent's clients. So let's go over to user group here and simply clone the client group here. As you guys can see that we have a different client group now. So let's go over to users, users here, and create a new agent with the username agent and password testing. Select an ID group, it is an agent. His clients are gonna be client clone and his plan is gonna be master. Okay, so let's make a make a quick refill for that agent let's give him um one hundred dollars and okay now he has some credit great so let's go over to rates here and I'm gonna show you guys my tariffs here. We have some tariffs, basic stuff with a buy price and a sell price here. So um, you guys are gonna understand why I'm showing you guys this. So let's go over to another page here and log in as the agent we just created. Okay, so as you guys can see, we already have, we can already see the credit we refilled before. And as for users, there's only us here. Um, so let's go over to billing. I mean rates here. And if you guys go over to tariffs, we don't have any. But if we go over to plans and create a plan, for example, called test and save it should automatically import the tariffs from the admin here refresh okay so now we have some tariffs for that plan so let's um give get a markup because if we sell um credit with this pricing here we're not going to make any money so let's simply go to, over to batch update all uh, let's um, select the plan test. Let's get like 15% per, over the current value here. So what is this going to do is update all the selling prices with plus 15% on the baseline here. It took a while to finish the, the modification probably because we have many tariffs but that's not relevant. So if if we go over to users and create some just to uh, just for testing sake, like the test user one here. So let's um, give him some credit here. Let's refill him with um, two hundred dollars. Okay, now what's the logic? behind the refills here. As you guys can see, the admin refilled us with $100, but we refilled our test user with 200 here. But what's the limit on that? We have a setting here in the admin panel here that sets the maximum refill, agent refill limit here. It's this value times the refill amount so we have $100 so the maximum amount we're gonna be able to refill someone with or I mean like all the all my users uh, it's a sum so I can have multiple users and between them all they can only have $300 uh, $500 because I only have 100 here so if I set um if i want to make a refill with 301 dollars i'm not gonna be able to because that exceeds my limit here 
So I need to refill one less in order to be able to refill. So here, now we have refilled this user with $500. If we try to refill any more, it's going to give us the same error. So this is the basic setup for the for the agent thing. You can now create users, refill, make calls, everything should be working perfectly. If you guys have any questions, please send them in the Telegram group so we can help each other or uh, purchase our support. It's up to you guys. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and check the other videos. See you guys next time.